Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. I'd like to thank you so very much for your support to Juno Sweet Just Commentary, of course. And we're going to check out a video entitled Sufficiency Economy uh, The Greatest Gift from HM King 2009121. I, I think that's just the date. That must have been filmed in 2009. Um, nonetheless, thank you so very much for requesting. Like, <coughs> like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to video, of course, don't forget to leave a comment below. And I'll try my utmost best to react to it. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's see. Sufficiency Economy by the Great King. King Rama the Ninth. The global economic crisis has brought about an uncertain future for millions of families around the world. True. Yet, the sentiment differs in Thailand, a country that has learned its financial lesson back in the 1997 recession. Wow. But one thing that sets the kingdom apart from other countries is sufficiency economy, a concept wow. brought about by His Majesty the King. Turning to His Majesty's sufficiency economy philosophy. That's Thai Prime Minister back in 2009 about moderation, how we should um, be careful, the way we conduct our lives, the way we decide to invest, the way we decide to borrow. And, True. Uh, I think that borrowing is important, um, but you have to be careful how you borrow. financial system, the economic system, to be much, much more aware of uh, risk management. Prime Very Minister Abhisit Bersha Shiva says sufficiency economy is not about shutting the world out and relying on only oneself. But it is about finding a sustainable way a to survive and grow. Twenty years ago, Adam Wat, a humble farmer's son, had the privilege to follow His Majesty the King as a part of the junior staff of His Majesty's wow. royal project. That nice. experience had changed his life, as afterwards he decided to apply his knowledge in creating the Agri Nature Foundation. That is good. That although the concept of sufficiency economy is not new to ties, many still do not understand the concept. It means the more you give, the more you give back. Yeah. Ajami Wat says sufficiency economy is the balance between capitalism and communism. It is reaching the point of sustaining oneself so that one does not have to rely on the mere trading of goods. A Very concept true. that is hard to perceive if it cannot be seen. Hmm. When Ajami Wat wanted to start his self-sufficiency centers, he knew that he had to start somewhere hard and challenging. And that's why he chose to come here at Chungri Province and opened up Chung the province. center where he knew if he was able to conquer this harsh and barren land, he could conquer anything. Very good. The center was just the <laughs> so he would have challenged and himself. After successfully farming the land, the Agri Nature Foundation was able to increase the number of centers throughout Thailand. That's now, nice. The organization That's runs good. a total of 50 centers where people what? from various backgrounds come to learn how to sustain themselves. I think uh, because this is quite practical, it's a kind of workshop. Secretary think, uh, for Agriculture Foundation. In class, we have, uh, they have to go down and sometimes uh, plant something and do the fertilizer and also do some uh, domestic use for example shampoo washing liquid i think that they what? Yeah, of course that's range good. from teaching people how to make organic fertilizer to ways to building wow, efficient irrigation systems for that their farms awesome. great. and including making practical household products such as liquid detergent. Fun as the courses may be, wow. it has turned out to be life-saving to is many part. I use chemical fertilizer and it's really good. Yeah, it's not good. Chemical fertilizer is not good. That's good. It's better to go organic, guys. Oh, what? I came on to that's good. What? 12 kilometers? 
Many students wow. who make up a large part of the program have been able to take the knowledge to the next step and become the next generation of teachers. Very important That's good. is a goodness for give every people my heart uh, very full about give <laughs> wow. and take for every people. I joined this micro camp. Uh, I, I, want, I wanted to help myself and, people, and help people. Now I'm happy because I can. The move to help Thais achieve sustainability has not stopped here. The Thai government has worked hard to apply the concept into many governmental projects. We are developing in parallel the economies at the community level uh, with a number of um, projects going right through that is the, actually uh, good. To, to the communities. Let people um, decide for themselves, think yes. for themselves, and mm -hmm. also look after themselves. That Prime is Minister good. Abhisit tells TAN Network his thoughts on the future of sufficiency economy. I think there has to be a it's almost 10 years since that interview. To sure that economic growth in the future will be sustainable, will be inclusive, and uh, also will be fair. And uh, the role of uh, community level economies mm. in supporting the, the strength and the fundamentals of individual economies um, in, in all countries, I think will be an area where there will be a lot of attention. The cost that of self-sufficiency may be hard good. for many of the people in the world to uh, understand. Yeah, but I think so do, too. You'll know what a powerful gift His Majesty the King has bestowed to the people of his kingdom. That is good. And if you understand it and you know how to use it, it can truly change your life. For Thailand Very true. News Network, I'm Cholo Dakinjano. That is a good video indeed. Very true. Sufficiency economy. Um, creating an atmosphere where you grow what you need and then you have enough to sell you have enough to sustain yourself not just sustain yourself but after you even consume whatever it is any residue or leftovers of that product you can then change them something new use it for your backyard garden fertilizer or manure organic manure fertilizer you could use it for byproducts um, there are different things we can use and there's a lot of things persons are actually consuming and throwing away and they're not really using it to its fullest potential so i love that video that the king of thailand tried his best to ensure that he left such a a, a, a standard that the people of thailand will want to follow where they can live a sustainable life and watch out as this young man was saying no not really young but as this man was saying where he was part of the team and now he have gone further he have not just he can't he will he don't only have the opportunity to say he was part of the team for the royal projects um but he went further and he created new opportunities and he spread the message teaching others and showing that it can work so i am very much loving this video thank you so very much for requesting it nonetheless like us on facebook follow us on twitter don't forget of course if you want me to react to video leave a comment below and i'll try my utmost best to react to it thank you very much bye guys I love you forevermore. Can't do without you. No, oh no. It's cold and dark when you're not with me. You make me shine. I'm weak and frail when you're not around. You keep me strong. You and I, an overwhelming majority. Oh, oh. so in my life. There was a time when all I wanted was my own way I never thought of the price that I would have to pay Yeah, Doing all the things that only matters to me I was fooling myself, but now I've come to see It's cold and dark when you're not with me You make me shine I'm weak and frail when you're not around You keep me strong You and I An overwhelming majority oh, oh. So in my life We give you first place All authority
you care for me, me. Now I see, now I see, now I see that you really care for me with love unconditional, love unconditional, love unconditional, unconditional love, with love unconditional. Love unconditional. Love unconditional.